Hi guys, I just want to create a quick video on the fact that Cloud Geomatics, the Cloud PPK post-processing software for DJI RTK drones, um, at least the version 1.14.1, does support uh, Altel um, data. Uh, so I actually have data from an Altel Evo 2 RTK, um, and I have base station data too. Uh, so, let me show you how it works. So, the data is pretty much set up the same as DJI stuff. Um, so, right now we'll just import the drone log file. Uh, so, the Rhinox OBS file. We'll do the timestamp MRK file. We'll import our base file. Um, I didn't send this off to uh, Opus, so I don't have a solution. So I'm just, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use the header and whatever settings are there. I just want to show you guys that it does process through. Um, so I'll click OK. We'll go to Process GPS Data. So now it's going to do the PPK processing forward and backward. Bam. And now we can see that it did process the PPK data with the images um, down to, looks like it was good, three, three centimeter accuracy. Um, I had more than enough time of my base being set up. Uh, so the next step we do is we'll open the image folder. So that's the image folder. We'll click OK. Sorting photos, applying IMU settings. So I know some guys will say something about lever arms. Um, I confirmed this. Uh, the lever arms are actually in the timestamp MRK file too. So you don't have to worry about the whole lever arm thing. Um, one of the cool things about Cloud PPK is that you can actually um, do the height reference. You can change the height reference to a geoid. Um, I know like Red Catch or Red Toolbox, um, there was another one that's out there. Uh, you can do the PPK processing, but you can't do the height offset um, for the geoid above ellipsoidal height. Um, so how we can do that in here is we'll click that guy right there. I'll select the geoid model. I'll do 18B. You have a bunch of other global geoids and everything in here too, depending where you're at. Um, so we'll click 18. We'll see 18 right here. We'll click Apply. You can also change your coordinate system, um, but you only can export it out as a CSV to use in something like Pix4D. Um, but if you want it to automatically geotag the photos too, you have to leave it in WGS84, but you can change the height reference. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll click Geotag Photos. So now it's going through all the photos and geotagging the data. And then I will go through and reopen up this folder. So now I have my photos right here, and they have been PPK processed. So now you can just take these photos directly into like Pix4D or whatever software you use, SimActive. Um, it's all up to you. Um, and to prove that it actually changed, in my backup folder, I have some untouched photos. Go to Properties, and I'll go to Details. So now if you look in here, the GPS location. So these are the un-PPK'd photos. And I'll go back to here, same photo. Go to Properties, Details. Pull this one up like that. Scroll down. Now you can see Alto Robotics, Alto Robotics. Scroll down to GPS. Right here, you can actually see that it accounted for the geoid offset. And you can also see in the numbers right here that it actually corrected and tagged the photos with the PPK data. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so Cloud PPK software does work with Altel drones, at least the Evo 2 RTK. I also am assuming, and 
well, I'm not assuming I know, it also works for the Evo 2 Enterprise um, 2. Uh, as long as it has that Rhinex, or not that Rhinex, as long as it has the the observation file and it has that timestamp M or K file, you should be able to use it in cloud. Um, so, yeah, um, just makes things a lot easier. Uh, no need to mess with RTKLIB or anything like that, and it tags your photos. Um, so hopefully that helped you guys out. Uh...